The Tarsis. That's not what I expected. The Tarsis. I thought I lost you this time. Where is your ship? <sighs> The ship is gone, but he's alive. And you think his life is worth a ship? Ships can be rebuilt. A life cannot. You've spent too much time with the Athenians. Malaka. What's important is that you're alive, brother. He's your brother? It would be easier if he wasn't. What happened to the crew? Those dogs turned on me. If it wasn't for this Mystios... He would be dead. Then you will be rewarded, Mystios. Gotarzis promised a reward. A substantial one, if I remember it right. Pay her, then. Me? But you're the one who... Fine. Come with me, stupid brother. Thank you, Cassandra. Family is family, and for his life, I thank you. The mighty not Spartan returns! Here, take your drachmi. Nothing feels better than a heavy purse filled with coin. The information I need. How long will it take? I already have it. You do? Your Merini now sails under the name of Finikas. She started as a member of my crew, but we parted ways not too long ago. I'm leaving soon. Chaos is your home. But this isn't my true calling. My purpose. You might never find what you're looking for, Pinakas. I can't stop until I do. You are a great pirate. And you are an even greater friend. Don't forget me. Do you know where she is now? She sailed southeast with her crew in search of a greater calling. She was part of your crew? For a time. Why did she leave? Much too interested in the politics of war. A waste of a good pirate, if you ask me. I haven't heard from her since she left. Chaos is a long way from Sparta. How did your paths cross? On the sea, long ago. In her, I saw a better life. In me, she found freedom. Together, we own the waves. I can't believe she was a pirate. She's the kind of woman who, once she sets her mind to something, gets it done. Thank you. I... Home isn't a place. It's the people you're with. If you don't find what you're looking for, there's a place for you here.
step around here. Off we go now.
κράτησε κλινικ. Γιατί διονίζομαι στην κλινική. Look, you insignificant peon. Tell me where he is, or by Ira, I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. I already told you what I know. I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order, prostrate himself before the gods, and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patience. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well, perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. I'm sure there's no need for raised voices. Who are you? I'm looking for a man named Hippocrates. Yet another crazed follower of the madman himself. Tell your impious master that unless he makes a public apology and soon, this priestess of Ira will gather an army of faithful and shut him down. Out of my way! Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. What's going on? I am Sostratos. 
Grisis has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. I need to meet Hippocrates. Is he in Argolis, at least? Yes, but he's gone southeast of Hera's watch to help the sick and injured. Is this his workshop? It's Hippocrates' clinic. Here we study healing, offer treatments, and provide care to anyone who asks. Why not work with the priests in the sanctuary of Asclepios? It's what this region is known for, right? The priests try their best, but their methods are stuck in the past. Hippocrates is researching new cures and treatments. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. What kind of equipment? It's just medical necessities. Knives and gut for sutures, bandages. Oh, and uh, an enema bag for clearing the bowels. That had to better be properly wrapped. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? I'll be sure he gets the equipment. You have my thanks. How will I know when I've found Hippocrates? Follow the road southeast of Hera's watch to the cave of Pan. He won't have set up far from it. Look for a long line of sick people. He's uh, balding, but I wouldn't mention that if I were you. <laughs> So many sick people. Can one man? All of them? I've been looking for you. I saw your message. What's happened? I must arrange for an olive wreath to be placed on her door. 
the woman I attended has given birth to a son. That's wonderful, midwife. And he is healthy? How is the mother? The mother and son are strong, so there is work to be done. The father is a commander. A message must be delivered to him, and the sacrifice of goats must be made to thank the gods. You want me to deliver it to the Athenian commander? Then you understand. I'll handle this. I can rest my mind, then. May the fates be on your side. I thought they were exaggerating when they said people from all around came to see Hippocrates. So, what has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, Doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. You must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very busy. This will only take a moment. I won't keep you away from your patients and your students. Observation, experience, and experimentation are crucial for treatment. My followers are learning that. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? No. I knew this would help you and your patients. That's good enough for me. Quite admirable. What did you say your name was? Cassandra of Sparta. Well met, Cassandra of Sparta. What do you need? I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. According to Sostratos, you don't like people mentioning your... you know. My what? Your hair. Or lack of it. Yes. Yes, 
Make your jokes while walking around like one of Phidias' sculptures come to life. Where should I look for your notes? For Tyrins, not far from here. Perhaps they'll return them if you ask. Or they could prepare for a new battle. With me. Far be it for me to tell Amistios how to work, but please, for my sake, do not kill needlessly. Enough blood has been shed in this war. Did Chrysis take your notes? Ah, you've met the priestess. No, not her, but the local military commander. I can't fault his desperation. Those men suffered terribly from battle fatigue. She would have come here a long time ago with an injured baby. Are you sure she would have passed through the sanctuary of Asclepios? I was a young man then. When I encountered a situation beyond my skills, I would send the patient to the sanctuary. And these priests keep records of their patients? Yes, engraved in stone. The elder priest might remember. What was so interesting about these notes? They were my notes about diseases of the mind, including what the priests call the sacred disease. That's what this patient has. He's losing control of his limbs and throat, sometimes frothing at the mouth. I fear his breathing will stop next. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you. Selene rises. Off we go now. A midwife wanted you to have this. Ah, just what I needed. Take this as payment. His notes are well guarded. Why? Mighty Tyrions. 
built by the Cyclopses, or so the legend goes.
What are you doing here? Hippocrates sent me. Your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself. I'm sorry. They were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. I'll wait here for you to finish. If I leave, what's stopping you from running away? Thinking like a mercenary. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Then make yourself useful and bring me my bone forceps. Some idiot or another's always borrowing them. Then you'll come treat Hippocrates' patient? You have my word. Is this it? You aren't a half-bad assistant. When I'm done with his surgery, I'll be honored to help Hippocrates. Might be limping for a while, but Apollo willing, they'll make a full recovery. I'll meet you there. Don't be late. <laughs> oh, any 
anything Amistheus can help you with, stranger? You would not believe the words that fall from men's mouths when they are drunk. The fools get drunk in your presence? I would not want to miss a second with you. Then perhaps we should spend some time together. But there is something I must take care of first. Maybe I can help you. The Athenian commander is one of my clients, and I know he would be very interested in what I heard last night. But those cursed Spartans guard the route to the Athenian camp. You want me to deliver it to the Athenian commander? It should be an easy task for someone with your talent. I'll help you. You have my word. Then I can rest easy. May the fates be on your side. Talk to him. He's over there. Ella. May Asclepius spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This. Poor girl has the same sickness. I'm looking for information about a Spartan woman who came through here. I was warned about an eagle bearer. A ruthless killer, she was called. Do you think it's wise to deny a ruthless killer the information she desires? Healing the sick is my path. Help me get the attention of the gods, and I tell you what I can. What are you asking, exactly? Her illness seems to have no cure, and it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need the beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepius to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, towards the coast. Bring it to me alive and will offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. The outskirts are vast. Can you be more specific about the location of the bull? Last I heard, it was grazing on Mount Coryphum, near the Asini ruins. If you're just going to slit its throat, why do you need the bull alive? <laughs> but we're not just going to slit its throat. First, we pour water on its head. If it nods, we may proceed. Gods, mortals, and animals, all must be willing participants in a sacrifice, or it is impure. To save this many people, we will need the beast's blood, bones, and fat. Tell me about Chrysis. She has everyone terrified. We taught her everything we knew about healing, about the gods. Then she found new teachers, people in masks. They changed her, turned her heart black. They became her gods. I'll find this bull for you. There he is. 